In this video, we'll be talking about parallel and perpendicular lines and how their slopes compare. With parallel lines, you'll notice that the slopes are the same. We can prove this by simply counting rise over run. For our first line, or lower line, the rise is 2 and the run is 5. Compare that to the second line where the rise is also 2 and the run is again 5. Their slopes are rise of 2 and run of 5. And they're exactly the same. So parallel lines have the same slope. Let's look at perpendicular lines. There's a similarity between them, but they are very, very different. Perpendicular lines mean that the lines cross at a right angle to each other. If we again count the rise over run, for the first positive sloping line, we get a rise of 2 and a run of 5. So our slope for the first line is 2 over 5, or 2 fifths. But if we, if we count the slope, or rise over run, for our second line, or perpendicular line, we get a rise of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but since we have to head to the left to hit our line, it's going to be a rise of 5, but a run of negative 2. So my perpendicular slope, or my second slope in comparison, is going to be a rise of 5 over a run of negative 2. This makes sense because if we read our lines on our graph from left to right, the negative slope is heading downwards as we approach the right side of the graph, whereas the positive slope is heading upwards as we head to the right. So that would make sense that the first slope is positive and the second slope is negative. The unique thing about these two slopes, if you compare them, is that one is the opposite or the negative reciprocal of the other. So when you're comparing perpendicular lines, the slope is the opposite reciprocal. Another way of saying this is you flip your fraction over and change its sign and that will give you the perpendicular line to the line you started with. Finally, if you have a line that's neither perpendicular or parallel, there are no patterns. Let's try some examples. Our first example says that a line goes through 5, 2, and 7, 5. Another line goes through negative 2, negative 6, and 0, negative 3. Are the lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither? This is where we have to find what our slope-intercept equation is to determine whether these lines are parallel or perpendicular to each other. Let's first find the slope of each.
So we're going to now compare the first slope for line one with the slope of line two. Notice that the first line has a slope of three halves and the second line has a slope of three halves. They are the same. And if we refresh our memory, notice that if you have the same slope, they're parallel. Example two, asks us to find out whether the lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither once again, but we have different points. Let's go ahead and compare line one, line one's slope to line two's slope. The slope for line one simplifies to two over three. And the second line's slope is negative six over four, which reduces to negative three halves. If we compare these two slopes together, they are opposite reciprocals of each other because if you flip this one over and change its sign, you would get this one. And if you flipped this one over and changed its sign, you would get this one. So they're opposite reciprocals. So these lines are perpendicular. And these lines are parallel.